Hello everyone and happy 2022! I cannot believe that the first year of the Dickens versus Tolstoy debate is officially finished and we are into year two. So today Emma and I are posting both on our channels little updated videos just to let you guys know the slight changes that are coming to our book club. So I had the wonderful honor of designing the graphics like I did last year and Emma and I are just, we love this book club so much so we hope that you guys like the graphics and what we have planned. I'm very excited to talk to you guys about it. So if you are new to the book club then this is a book club hosted by me and my beautiful friend Emma from her YouTube channel Emmy. We started it last year so of course this is our second year doing it and it is going to be lasting for four years. This is a book club inspired by a debate that was hosted by Intelligence Squared on YouTube and actual in in real life in London and it was a lecture or a debate about who is the better 19th century novelist Dickens or Tolstoy and they had scholars for defending each author so John Mullen was defending Dickens and Simon Shama was defending Tolstoy and they had a wonderful cast of actors that performed different scenes from the books to help the audience when they went in they voted on who they preferred Dickens or Tolstoy and then after hearing the debate and the two scholars and the excerpts performed by the actors they had to either remain the same choice or change their their decision of who they preferred, Dickens or Tolstoy. And that is what inspired Emma and I to do this book club. We loved that debate so much and when we discovered it we asked each other who we preferred and we thought well we can't really give an exact answer because we haven't read enough from each author. And then we decided to make this book club and read all of Dickens and Tolstoy's major works. It has been an absolute joy and one of our very favorite parts of 2021 and we are so excited that we get to keep doing it for three more years which is just amazing. You don't have to participate every month. You can participate whenever a book piques your interest or whenever you want to or you can participate every month. That would be absolutely amazing um, and we have debates after we finish every single book and we each get on a team so whoever likes the book more defends the author. So for instance when we read Resurrection by Tolstoy I liked Resurrection more than Emma did so I defended Tolstoy and she defended Dickens so it'll really go like that. We do have an optional annotation system. You of course can annotate or not annotate these books. You can do whatever you want in terms of marking up your books or not marking up your books but if you are interested in annotating and you want a little guide to uh, get you through it and if you are new to annotating or if you just want a little structured then we created this annotation system. You don't have to use it like I said um, but it just gives you a little outline if you want to try. Um, but again, it's optional. And then we do have a hashtag, so it is hashtag Dickens or Tolstoy, and that is just so we can share in the love of Dickens and Tolstoy reads and just this book club so we can all communicate with one another and share our posts and our opinions and just share the love of Dickens or Tolstoy. Now our main goal has stayed the same, our main goals, it is to read most of Dickens and most of Tolstoy, well really all of Dickens and most of Tolstoy. We aren't reading all of Tolstoy's. We did change the schedule quite a bit. The main change that we made is we made Tolstoy's works more chronological than they were and we decided to get rid of a few of Tolstoy's non-fiction works and mainly focus on his fiction because we thought it would be a bit more fair to compare fiction with fiction because we are only reading Dickens's fiction and so we thought it's only fair to read only Tolstoy's fiction. It is beneficial to read Tolstoy's non-fiction as well to really understand him as a writer so that of course is something that you can do either on the side or maybe we will add it eventually. The schedule isn't set in stone obviously because we made so many changes from year one but we're very excited for everything that we have planned so January this month we are going to be reading The Raid and the Stevastopol stories by Tolstoy. I will be leaving a link in the description to a Google Doc form and that is just for all of Tolstoy's short works because there isn't one single volume that has all of the works that we will be reading and they're slightly harder to find Dickens is much more readily available because all of his books are still in print. Some of Tolstoy, all of Tolstoy's are still in print, I believe. They're just a bit harder to find and you're going to have to flip through different short story collections um, throughout the months because they aren't in chronological order when there is a collection of them. The main ones that Emmett and I will be using are from Penguin Classics. They are the Black Spines. 
they have a bunch of different sm smaller collections with m most of the main stories that we will be reading. I will be leaving the entire 2022 schedule in the description box, but if you want to see 2023 and 2024 schedule, that will be on our Instagram highlights. This has been one of our favorite things that we have done on YouTube. Every time we have a debate, we just have so much fun. We love seeing you guys return from all the debates. We recognize your names and we love talking to you and it really does feel like a really big friend group and it is just one of the best things that we get to do and that we get to be able to communicate with all of you guys on the internet in this way sharing a love of Dickens and Tolstoy and trying to see who prefers who and figuring out all the Dickens and Tolstoy um, intricacies and just having those discussions is one of the greatest things because it really is so great especially when it's with classic literature to have a community to read with I think makes it even more fun and a bit less daunting and we hope that that's what this book club has done for you if you have joined. I think what I'm mainly looking forward to is now that we have gone through all of Tolstoy's very beloved epics, the ones that are most read by a bigger group, a bigger audience of readers, and we are getting more into his lesser known books, books that not the everyday reader really reads. It's mainly if you really are passionate about Russian lit or if you're passionate about Tolstoy and you want to read his lesser known books. I think that that's what I'm really, really looking forward to is reading the books that aren't as mainstream as Anna Karenina and War and Peace. They are so beloved for a reason. Anna Karenina is my favorite book for a reason. War and Peace is life-changing for a reason, but I am really interested to see how I feel about Tolstoy's lesser known and lesser read shorter fiction. As well as now that we have gone through Dickens, he's developing so much more as a writer and I'm really excited to see him bloom and blossom into the very mature and uh, genius and brilliant novelist that he becomes in his later years. It's so fascinating to see how they've changed over time and that's why we really love reading them chronologically. And we do get a few questions asking why it's not Dostoevsky or Tolstoy or Dickens and Thomas Hardy or Trollope or maybe writers that are a bit similar to one another. But I think the fact that Dickens and Tolstoy are quite different in the subject matter that they write about and the way that they write, I think that makes it even more interesting to have those discussions on who we prefer. And it's also inspired by the Dickens versus Tolstoy debate by Intelligence Squared, so of course that is mainly why. And Emma and I love, love, love Dickens and Tolstoy, just themselves as individual writers, so to combine them in this way is just always so much fun. And then the last thing that I want to mention is our Discord. We do have a Discord link and a Discord group where we talk about all of our Dickens vs. Tolstoy books. The Discord links always expire really quickly, so if you want to join our Discord group, then definitely DM me on Instagram and I will gladly send you the link. I will leave a link to the Discord in the description box, but I can't guarantee that it'll work or that it won't expire pretty quickly. So if you have any questions at all, if you want to join the Discord, leave it in a comment or DM us on Instagram, and if you want all the information is going to be on our Instagram highlights as well as in the description box of this video. I hope that this has cleared some things up for everyone who has been wondering about what we are planning for 2022. So the raid and the Stevastopol stories is what you have to mainly prioritize for January and what Emma and I have to prioritize for January, get ready to have some more debates. Um, like I said, this is just one of the best things that has come out of 2021 and out of my and Emma's friendship. Um, so yes, we absolutely love doing it and we love seeing you join us. So I will see you guys in the end of January when we discuss the Stubble stories and um, the raid, or I will see you guys in another video from me very, very soon. I hope you have had a fantastic 2021. Um, thank you so much if you have joined the book club in our first year, and we can't wait for the following years to come. And I hope you have an even better 2022. I hope you are staying happy and healthy and reading some incredible books that also aren't just Dickens and Tolstoy, but other books, any books that you read, I hope that they are amazing. And I hope that you are doing amazingly. So I will see you soon in another video. Happy reading.